So there are news saying that data has been leaked or data has been hacked. So there are news out there that says data has been leaked or data has been hacked. But have you ever wondered how does your data actually look like? Well, it will look something like this. And can you guess what this means? So you were to see the word name and Haris. So essentially, if you were to guess that this is a person with the name Haris, you are right. Essentially, this thing is called objects or objects. So let's break down the different parts of the object. So the name itself is what we call the key and the Haris is what we call the value. So you might hear the common phrase key value pair. So let me explain what key is. So key is essentially a way for us to label the data type for this object. So in this instance, we have the label name. And then in the value, this is where we actually put the data. So the name for this object is Harris. So what if I want to add my age? So it will look something like this, where you just add your age over here, and then you put the value 27. So I'll add my key age and my value 27. So the thing is, this is a very simple example, but in actual reality, it actually looks something like this. And this is only a small part. It's actually way bigger than this. And yes, websites actually track a lot of data about you. So in terms of code, it will look something like this, where you assign a variable person and the object over here. So one cool thing about objects is that you can have this dot name. So this is what we call dot notation. So this is how we get a specific type of value from the object itself. So we have the object person with the key name and value Harris. And if you want to get our value Harris, we just put person dot name and it will return us the value Harris. And how do we get the age in this example? Maybe you can pause this video and write down what the answer is. And if you answered person dot age, you are right. So in essence, usually when your data is being hacked or if you were to get data, it will essentially look like this, where it's a huge amount of data. Then using code, you can take one part of the data itself. And with this little part of the data, you can actually show in the app that you have, whether it's a website or a mobile app, and then you can show it like, hey, your age is 12. So therefore, the dot notation in objects helps us to filter the data that you need. Therefore, objects are essentially a way for us to group related data together. And this also helps us to filter. Since data is not as simple as this, but it's way more than this, you can actually use the dot notation to help us filter the data that you need. So that's it about objects.